What's going on guys, this is Ryan here and I received my phantom back from repair I have a video coming but haven't yet gotten to it The um, reason why you're seeing the flight record screen is because I don't know how to uh, extract the flight records off of my phone right away but uh, yeah, just loading this video because this morning I wanted to capture the sunrise and everything was fine I set the home point, I was sure that I set the home point uh, where I took off and what happened was basically uh, I tested the return to home it came back to the location that the home point was set then I took off again just to fly a little bit more I flew the copter approximately like maybe four meters away from where I was standing which is where you see the red flag the red flag would be that's the phantom or the arrow is the phantom and so yeah I set I set the I set the home point the second time and set home point recorded however um, the home point actually recorded not where it was not where it was but it actually went ahead and just set the home point to somewhere far off which is not even where the phantom was um, so here's my flight record playing at times 8 speed so you can notice I took like three pictures roughly and I recorded as well a little bit of it and I like I never take it further than the block that the green block there that's the field that I usually fly in and you'll also notice that my maximum height is 20 meters or so. It's less than the maximum uh, limit. I am in Toronto, so it will say Toronto Division. And yeah, today is April the 14th, April 14, 2016. It's a Thursday. I didn't expect this to actually happen. I knew technology could fail. Um, but I've flown the Phantom numerous times uh, and I've been able to bring it back like every time um, let's see so it's about four minutes into the flight I'm at 60 meters and climbing I'm still in PGPS I've been flying in PGPS for um, the pretty much duration of the flight, I didn't think of changing altitude mode or anything. Now, if you notice, there is a green, the green, okay, so it's returning home now. And then you'll see it's landing on the mode. Right here, it's landing. 23, 22 meters, it's, it's descending. Um, and I, I took control of it when it was about to land and I flew it around again then home point recorded look it jumped from where it was flying and it's and then now it's like all the way over here I was nowhere near that when I set the home point so I'm 80 85% sure that that was not my error at all even so even if this was the home point if that's correct it started drifting you'll see my my orientation the green lights in front of the red arrow is actually like turning back and forth that's when I was trying to gain control of it but it just kept drifting backwards I wouldn't send it back flying backwards like that and then it just looped and then that's the end of the flight records um, so that's about what 10 minutes in 10 minutes in however I like I tried to do transitional flight by like flying it it's it's already really far away so I tried to do a transitional flight and bring it back and like I've had multiple experiences of flying quadcopters and RC's so I know how to bring it back However, when I s tried to loop it back, like left, left throttle, left 
uh, left throttle, right stick, left side as well, or right throttle, right side stick. Okay, you, you'll know if, if you know how to fly uh, RCs, you'll know what I'm talking about. So basically, I'm flying based on the direction the Phantom was facing. And uh, when I was flying, the Phantom would only go left or right. It would not come towards, it wouldn't come towards where I was. I don't know why that was. And then in the end, it just sort of hovered around there, and then it was gone. So, um, yeah, if you have any comments or similar experiences, do share with me. Um, I updated the firmware. I don't know if this has anything to do with the firmware, um, though I think it probably is some kind of software issue because I did a test flight after the firm after the updating of the firmware uh, two days ago I think and the flight was fine um, and the app also told me that the update was successful so yeah before each flight I definitely do um, set a what's it called like I calibrate the compass um, just to make sure that the compass is okay and then this happened this morning man I was like almost in tears no not really in tears but I was like my heart was like beating really fast um, and it's sort of disappointing that this happened so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time